What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm talking about The Incredibles 2. Oh my god. Pixar has done it again. I know we keep saying this, but they really did. Um, I went into this film with so much hype, so much expectations, that I actually had to check them out the door and be like, alright, it can't be as good as the first one. I gotta check these expectations at the door and just go in with, like, trying to have no expectations. Because, for people who don't know, The Incredibles, the first one at least, is one of my favorite films of all time. Um, it's been 14 years in the making to finally see this film. And, I, I, I mean, the build-ups have been forever. I've wanted to see this film forever. And Incredibles 2 is finally here. And wow, like I said, Pixar has done it again. Incredibles 2 is the best sequel Pixar has done since Toy Story 3. Incredibles 2 also might just be better than the first Incredibles. Now, I'm not going to say it is yet, just for the matter of the fact that I've rewatched The Incredibles 1 so many times, this film needs to see how it holds up on rewatches. But Incredibles 2, after sitting on it and thinking on it, Incredibles 2 is just as good as the first one, and that's what I absolutely loved about this film. It's incredible. No pun intended. I don't even know where to start for this review, because the build-up has been so long for The Incredibles 2 coming out finally, and just overall, I think I have to talk about the animation. The animation is beautiful. They did some stylish choices in here that I really did end up enjoying that improved. It goes far to show how great the animation is, and small, small touches that if you really look on the screen, it just sticks out like a sore thumb but it totally works my favorite things that they did with the animation though was a lot of the action sequences there's a couple really we weird but cool unique ones and there's one scene in particular that you know i'll be talking about but the way they use the animation in there kind of makes it look like a comic book but it's not like a gimmicky comic book type of thing it like blends into the scene perfectly where it doesn't take you out and i love that what they did with the cinematography and the animation in those scenes dear god before I get into anything else, can we just proclaim and give a round of applause to Michael Giacchino for once again making a one of the best and most memorable scores in any film? I mean, the first Incredible score is amazing, but this one might just top it. I think this guy did a wonderful job. And same goes to Brad Bird with the writing and directing credits in here. He is a mastermind. No, I, I see why it took him so long. He wanted to be able to craft a story that is either, either as good as the first Incredibles or better. In general, I only have one con with this film, and that has to do with the villain. I didn't hate the villain per se. I thought the Screen Slayer was a cool villain, but there were some per predictable aspects to the villain that I thought they could have improved on. I just really liked Syndrome from the first one a lot, and because Jason Lee's an awesome voice talent and just an actor in general, very underrated. I love what they did with Syndrome and as well in the first one with the writing, but again, that's really my only con. Besides that, I love The Incredibles too. A lot of that goes to say the characters, the character developments, the family developments that you get throughout this film all make sense, all work. The switcheroo with having... Bob Parr, Mr. Incredible, be the kind of stay-at-home dad now, and the mom, Miss Elastigirl, going into the actual world to be a superhero that you see in the trailers is a nice switcheroo, and I didn't know how I was going to feel about it, but Holly Hunter performs so well as this voice actor. It just, you don't even hear Holly Hunter, you hear Miss Incredible, or Elastigirl, whatever you want to call her, but the development in switching them really worked, and it actually worked better than the first film did where it showed, like, the back-at-home stuff, because the back-at-home stuff was more of the boring stuff, but it got to the point where I was, like, enjoying the film so much and so in-depth with it that I never was bored. I was more of like, okay, I, I want to see what's going on with Bob Parr and the family. I want no now. I want to see what's going on with the Last Girl and all this kick-ass action stuff. And it and it goes and it just keeps going and going and it just totally works. And it fits the same regime that the first one did, where the first one is a film for kids, but also for adults. It deals with this midlife crisis stuff. This film deals with it where kids can like and enjoy the film with the humor and stuff, but the humor is also there for the adults. I, I don't have any kids yet, but totally watching this film, it gave me references where I can totally imagine like where my parents would laugh at this because a lot of the stuff that Bob Parr has to deal with, Mr. Incredible, and stuff that obviously parents have to deal with on a general, and it, it was just great. I, I love seeing those dynamics switch around and how they made them work within the film totally worked. See, the big standout is Jack Jack. Um, I've always heard about this that Jack Jack was gonna be this big standout. The trailers projected him to be it, and it works. Jack Jack is has some of the best moments and probably my favorite moment in the whole entire film. And seeing what his powers turn out to be. I'll just say is again incredible it goes to say dash and violet are a great integral part to this story as well they kind of have some things that kind of go back to the first one that also go back to this one and again they work 
every character gets their moment to shine. Every character gets their moment to shine their skills, and every moment gets that one moment that just makes you laugh, giggle, or just smile from ear to ear. The second this film started, I was smiling ear to ear. The way it started, the way it ended, I was just totally engrossed into this film and smiling the whole entire time, enjoying the film, laughing, and laughing harder than I expected to. With all that said, The Incredibles 2 is a wonderful sequel. One of the best sequels Pixar has crafted. I didn't want it to end. I was actually really sad when it ended. And even though the villain didn't really work for me, I did still enjoy the screen sailor. I just think it could have been a little bit better writing and less predictable kind of elements to him. But besides that, I can't even talk too much about the villain. The villain is such a minor thing to all the pros in this film. The heroes, the new characters they introduce, the voice cast, Jack-Jack himself, Edna Mode. I can't even forget to talk about Edna Mode's fantastic in here. One of the best scenes as well with her. And going from there, the direction, the writing, the score from Michael Giacchino is superb. The cinematography, the animation, Incredibles 2 is really worth the 14-year wait. It makes me want another Incredibles right now. And if it takes another 14 years to see another one, yes, will I be sad I have to wait that long? Absolutely. But if it's worth the wait like this one was, then I cannot wait. But with all that said, I'm going to give Incredibles 2 an A+. Ah, lots of hype, lots of expectations, and the film turned out to be everything I wanted and more. It exceeded all those levels, and I'm so happy that I... I I'm really happy that, I, that this film exceeded all my expectations. I was very nervous going in thinking, oh man, I'm building it up too much, and I didn't at all. It, it totally worked, and I hope it meets your guys' expectations too. I know a ton of you guys cannot wait for The Incredibles 2, and I'm so glad it's finally here. I cannot wait to rewatch this film over and over and over, laugh and enjoy the film, and also talk with you guys about Incredibles 2. So tell me, guys, comment down below and tell me what your guys' thoughts are of The Incredibles 2. Are you guys excited for it? Are you not? Are you nervous about it? I want to hear about your thoughts down below because that's what's going to be the most important thing is hearing how excited you are for it or also tell me what you guys thought about the film. I can't wait to talk about it. And guys, also, if you guys are new here, consider liking this video and also subscribing. I do tons of videos like this. I've got tons of reviews and rankings coming out very much soon, so I can't wait to do those with you guys. If you guys want to talk more geeky stuff or nerd stuff or animation stuff, go hit up all my social media links down below right there. There. You guys can go hit them there. Follow me at Twitter, Instagram, or Stardust. Can't wait to talk with you guys there. Most important thing, guys, is you guys want to check out some advanced movie screens or even check out some movie news and movie reviews I don't cover, go check out Sandwich on Films also down below because they're, like, again, you guys, you guys can, there you guys can check out some advanced movie screens because who, who wouldn't want to brag to their friends that they got to see a film early? Also, go check out some movie news I don't cover or also other movie reviews. So go check it out. But guys, of course, again, this film's incredible. You're incredible. And of course, until next time, stay classy. Mm -hmm.